<clears throat> what's up tribe how you guys doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button i hope you like this video well listen you guys it seems as though Teresa Judice is in a little bit of trouble. We know she's already fighting with her sister-in-law, Melissa, down to the show, but it looks like now she is still fighting the IRS. The Sun is reporting today that Teresa Judice has been hit with, she owes over $1 million in unpaid New Jersey taxes after she's hit with a new $17,000 lien. The Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Judice, um... I'm sorry, the Sun can exclusively reveal that Teresa was slapped with a federal tax lien for $17,000 on April the 1st um, for 2020 and 2020, for the years 2020 and 2021. Now, the article goes on to say the following, if it would stop jumping. Okay, according to Morris County Clerk's Office, the latest lien adds to the Real Housewives of New Jersey star growing tax debt. In January of 2021, a federal tax lien was filed against Teresa and her ex-husband, Joe Judice, in the amount of $64,157.64 for the tax years 2016 and 2017. The ex-couple was also hit with a lien in April for um, in April of 2016 for $243,000 and for, I'm sorry, and for four hundred and twenty. $25 for 2014. In May of 2016, they were hit with a lien for $219,000 for 2015. They owe a lot of taxes. Why are these people not paying their state taxes? And finally, the exes were hit with a lien for $5,551,000 for the years 2000, 2001, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006. All the way 2006, 2007, 2008, and 2013. God darn. The Morris County Clerk's Office does not have release filed for the outstanding taxes as the total amount owed $1,096,012.14. Fortunately for Teresa, she was able to pay off a lien in just her name for $363,000 for two, uh, 2011 and 2012. The Sun previously reported that Teresa has paid off a series of debts in the last few years. Um, Teresa Joe and her in-laws were hit with a $235,000 judgment um, by Alliance Laundry Systems in 2013. The debt was paid off in February of 2022. Teresa also paid off a judgment from June 2009 to North Hudson IVF, according to the New Jersey courts. She paid off the full amount of $11,310 on April the 13th. Teresa once revealed that she and her husband were undergoing IVF in an effort to get pregnant. As for her 2013 bankruptcy fraud case, she was ordered to pay $414,000 in restitution and $8,000 in fines. The U.S. Sun revealed the judgment in the case had been paid in full regarding special assessment fine and or restitution as of February the 3rd, 2022. The amount is likely to $8,000 in fines as she's paid off the $414,000 in restitution back in 2017. Teresa served 15 months in prison while Joe served a 41-month sentence before their divorce, which was finalized in 2020. Despite the debt, Teresa continues to live an extravagant lifestyle. In February of 2021, Teresa and her then-fiancé boyfriend, Luis Reyes, I don't know say that right, dropped $3.3 million on a New Jersey mansion. In August of 2022, her and Louis tied the knot in a lavish wedding as her signature hair alone cost $10,000. The couple recently have taken lavish vacations to Puerto Rico and St. Bart's. Um, and then it just goes on to talk about her endorsements and I guess how she's possibly making money. Um, so that's pretty much that, you guys. It sounds like Teresa has been really trying to pay off the money that is owed. But what I'm not understanding is, I'm going to give you a pass on all of this old debt that you have under your husband. But girl, you ain't paid your taxes in 20, 2020 and 2021? Anyway, tell me what you guys think. Put it in the comments. Peace.